Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Christian, physician, author, entrepreneur, and founder of Confident Psychiatry. Using my background in medicine and my knowledge of the mind and human body, not only was I able to increase my self-confidence, but I was able to help other people with their confidence and personal development journey as well. In this video, we will be covering six reasons why confidence leads to success. But before we get into that, let us look at what confidence really is. Confidence is having a belief in someone or something. Therefore, self-confidence is having a belief in yourself, your own skills, and your own abilities. There are two types of confidence. External confidence, which is confidence that you project, and this helps close deals and make friends. And two is internal confidence, which is confidence that you feel inside. It shows how comfortable you are in a particular situation or environment. For example, if you're giving a speech to a large audience or if you're talking to strangers in a bar. Having self-confidence is having a combination of both internal confidence and external confidence. Like I said before, being self-confident is believing in yourself, in your own skills, your own abilities, and your own talents. The following are six reasons why confidence leads to success. This is definitely not a complete list, and we will be covering other characteristics and traits in future videos. So if you have not already done so, then hit the bell and subscribe button so you get notified when new videos are released. Number 1. They take risk. Risk taking is not about gambling your life savings away or jumping off a bridge. It involves taking well educated and calculated risks. Confident people are not shy about coming up with new ideas and trying them. They always take calculated risks because bigger risks result in bigger rewards. When a competition is hesitant to even attempt a risk, confident people are the ones who are taking the risk and this gives them the edge. Number 2. They listen more. By listening and allowing other people to talk more, confident people can gather information and learn. They also ask open-ended questions which allow other people to talk freely. This comes in handy when they are making sales presentations because they can tailor their product specs to their customers' needs. Listening more also allows them to understand the requirements for any tasks that are given to them. Number 3. They effectively communicate. This goes hand in hand with listening more. Communicating effectively with confidence is not about being loud. Effectively being able to communicate involves using the correct tone of voice, eye contact, and body language in the right environment. When speaking with confidence, the voice should be a low-pitched voice with smooth cadence. In other words, do not bounce the pitch around by going from high to low to high. Confident people also speak up and stand up from themselves and their beliefs. They also avoid filler words such as um, uh, like, etc. People who speak with confidence are ones who get promoted more and close more sales because they speak with authority. They are confident in their knowledge and what they are saying. Ask yourself, who would you rather buy a product from? Someone who does not know the specs of the product and struggling with the sale or someone who is confident in knowing everything about the product. The same applies if the same two salespeople were up for a promotion. The one who is confident is the one who took the initiative to learn everything possible about the product. While almost any person can be trained for any job position, the one who takes the initiative to learn on their own will be easier to teach and will require less company resources. This is why they are a better candidate for the promotion. Number 4. They are not afraid to fail. The easiest thing to do in life is to play it safe and stay within your comfort zone. When most people encounter failure, they see it as game over. Confident people are constantly pushing their limits outside of their comfort zone. They approach failure with the attitude that if they fail, 
It is an opportunity to learn from the experience and do it better the next time. Someone once asked Thomas Edison what it was like failing 1,000 times when trying to make the light bulb. His response was that he did not fail 1,000 times. He found 1,000 different ways how not to make a light bulb. If he would have given up at 999, we would all be living in darkness today. Because of people like Thomas Edison who are not pulled down by the failure, we have all the advances in technology, automobile, and the medical field today. Number 5. They take massive action. Although taking massive action means doing more than an average person, it does not necessarily mean working harder. If all it took was hard work to become successful, you would see millionaire garbage men, labor workers, etc. everywhere. Massive action actually involves taking full ownership of the problems, mistakes, and failures along the way and doing everything possible to rectify them as they arise. Confident people take massive action and always end up finishing the task they start. By taking massive actions, they can also expand their knowledge, experience, and find more opportunities. Number 6. They have self-discipline. Self-discipline allows people to keep a strict schedule, healthy eating habit, and exercise routine. Having self-discipline also gives the people the power to say no to distracting or harmful things such as going out for drinks during the weekend or binge watching a series on Netflix while they could be doing more productive things with their time. Having self-discipline allows people to stick to their goals and commitments and achieve success. When someone has low confidence, they don't take enough action and they are always second-guessing their decisions. They often seek approval from their bosses and co-workers. This results in things getting done slower and missed opportunities. People who are confident earn more and get promoted more. Their confidence manifests in the way they walk, communicate, and socialize. Just like learning to ride a bicycle, you can learn to become confident. It won't happen overnight, but as long as you put in consistent hard work and effort, you can learn to become confident. Start today by assessing your own skills and abilities. Next, figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are and work on improving your weaknesses. If you're interested in learning more ways to become confident, check out my book, Hidden Secrets of Confidence Uncovered. 17 Secrets That Make Confident People Successful. Also, if you have not already done so, then remember to hit the subscribe and bell button so you can be notified when new videos are released. If you found this video helpful, then please do share and like it. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook at Confidentiatry, where we are always constantly posting helpful content.